give me a second, please, to get the comments pulled up. Doing a fun project today. One second. It's been a crazy day. Always. Every day is crazy. And for those tuning in later on, not watching this live, I just want to let you know, this is a live video. So the whole purpose of this is for me to sit here and chit chat with people. If you're looking for a fast, straight up tutorial, this is not the video for you. This one's going to be nice and relaxed. Lots of chit chat. Okay. Hey, Mama Jane. Got the comments pulled up. Hey, Janice. I'm going to zoom in on this just a little bit. But we're doing a pretty big piece today. I don't understand why this thing zooms out so much on lives. There we go. Let me adjust this slightly. Okay. Hey, Jerry. Hey, Linda. Hey, Carol. All right, so I have actually a custom order for this three piece. And yeah, custom orders are always intimidating, even though I've been doing them for about a billion years. It's always still a little stressful. Now this one, <laughs> the customer wants a lot of colors, so it's gonna be interesting Pretty much all of them go together except for one color that I'm going to have to figure out how to fit in here. So she wanted medium blue, dark blue, gray, teal, gold, black, white, seafoam green, purple, and red. The red is going to be the fun part. That's a lot of colors. Hi, Doc Trader. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. So how is everyone's week going in Los Angeles? We have a winter storm warning right now. It's been crazy cold, which for us, crazy cold is like 40 degrees. It's been freezing. All right. Okay, I can't remember, but I calculated the ounces of paint to be 36, I think, something like that. We got snow in Scotland, monster storm in Northern California too, cold in New York, nine degrees, yikes. All right, I'm using the Artist Loft Ready Mix Pouring Paint. So this customer specifically does not want cells and she asked for a ribbon pour. This can either be a tester or it can be the actual piece, depending on how it comes out and how she likes it. I'm a little worried about not having enough white, to be perfectly honest, but we'll see. So it seems like it's pretty much cold all over. How's it in Australia? <laughs> nice and warm. So she said seafoam green. This one is called aqua green, but it's pretty much the same thing. And putting it right next to the white should give me that green. All right. And I'm pouring the color slowly in here. This paint does not tend to make cells, but of course anything can make cells depending on how you put it in there. Um, no, it is not out of focus. You might need to adjust the settings on your own device. Yes, I always run out of white because it's the color I use the most. All right, this is a teal that I made. Let's throw some of that purple in there. gold although you know what the red will go well next to the purple i also don't have a lot of red left of this which is surprising because i apparently only use blue 
<laughs> just kidding. That was a joke. So we're just going to have a little bit of red in here, which is fine. I just wanted a little pop of the red. Kelly said, looking forward to your painting class next Tuesday. Yeah, I'm super excited. These specific paints are from Michaels. It's a Michaels brand. All right, let's see. What do we want next? Okay, let's throw a little bit of black in here. I'm definitely not going to overdo it on the black, even though she did say. And then I'm going to put some more white right. No, darn it. That was probably not good. I'm going to put the gold next to that. Because <laughs> I don't want to get pink. And putting that white so close to the red can get me pink. Floetrol does not need to be added to these colors. They are ready to use right out of the bottle. Oops, that lid broke. I'm going to have to come back around for that black. This is a 16 ounce cup, by the way. If I had one of my 32 ounce split cups, that would be perfect, but of course I don't. Okay, and this is a lighter blue. This one's phthalo blue. So in this brand, there's two blues. There's a phthalo blue and then one called a bright blue. The bright blue, however, is actually a lot darker. Hey, Christina. Yeah, apparently we got snow a few days ago here. I did not witness this, but others did. All right, this one's a metallic white. Okay, well, let's put a dash of black next to that. See if we can get some gray. And now I'm gonna go cycle through these again. So it's gonna take a minute. I'm definitely not going fast on this. Feel free to chit chat. I will keep looking at the comments. Now purple wasn't one of the colors that matched her home decor, but she wanted it in there just because she likes purple, <laughs> which I think is cute. Where goes my white? Yeah, I may not have enough white to get this to come out how I like, so this might just be a trial picture. We'll see. Annabeth, you're not super late. Haven't poured anything yet. Just pile in all the colors in the cup. Okay, let's go back to some teal, uh, some blue, and then I mixed up, hopefully this comes out to be kind of a navy blue. I added a little bit of black. Oh, that looks just the same as that other blue. <laughs> well, you know, you hit and miss. Adding metallics can absolutely cause cells, but it also depends on the kind of paint. So this paint, even though I am adding metallics, it does not, it doesn't have cells on its own unless you get a lot of air bubbles in there. So like if you shake up the paint a lot and then you put it in there, you'll probably get some cells just due to the air bubbles. A little more of that red. To do. Just having fun cycling through these colors. That's. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Becky. You're amazing. Um, and someone asked about fun techniques to try out. I mean, gosh, there are so, so many. <laughs> it's hard to even say. Frozen and indecision. Okay, some purple. All right. So I think this is going to be my main color cup. I am going to fill up another cup that I'm going to put probably more around the edges. And this one I'm going to pour more in the middle.
I did not get some hubcaps yet. Okay. So this, let's go ahead. I've got a lot of gold. I've got a lot of black and a lot of purple and a lot of blue. So essentially I'll need two of these 16 ounce cups of paint. For these three canvases. I want a lot of this aqua green. Oopsies. Someone just asked why they can't hear the video, but if I answer, it's not going to do much good because I can't type right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh well. Maybe they'll catch up later. Yes, this is a triptych. Teal. Okay, let's go back to them gold. Now I've heard some people complain about the cost of these paints. They are a little bit expensive, but if you are smart and you use your coupons, which Michaels pretty much always has, you should be good. So I think they're worth it. They're really great for some projects. These I love using these on vases and tumblers. I think they're beautiful. Okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead. This is the rest of my white. Stay. <laughs> I was planning on doing a, a trial for this one anyway, so this is this is perfect. Thought I would just bring you guys along for my trial. All right. Uh, I know I just put more gold in here. Let's do a little bit more. More blue. So I'm not gonna have as much gray in here as I would like. That's not the best. All right. Here we go. Time for the actual trial. This is scary. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oops, a little too close to the edge there. I am going for bigger ribbons on this. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did kind of put some bigger chunks of color than I would normally put. Normally I would layer it a lot more. I got some of these bottles out of the way. And I have no idea how I'm going to tilt these. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this over here. I'm going to help, help my edges before I go on to my main cup. Ooh, okay. So I put this dark blue in there and it actually looks really pretty. <laughs> Heather, you can totally judge if you want. I've grown some pretty thick skin over the last few years. Judged every day. <laughs> Ooh, look at these colors. I'm going to come around. Actually, yeah, I'm going to come around and kind of get some more on this edge back there. One second.
definitely not as much paint on this side. I still think we'll be fine though. And I do have some extra colors that I can put around the edges as needed. We got this, I think. Okay, let's do the main cup here. Getting some excess paint off there. All right. <laughs> All right. Move more bottles out of the way. Okay. So I'm going to kind of fill in some of these spots in here before tilting. That will just help the paint to flow over those spots. Big spot in the middle here. What do you guys think so far? A little too dark. Just right. All right. Only time will tell with the tilting here. I'm not going to try to tilt them together. Although, if you did want to, you can attach them ahead of time at the back. Um, you could easily screw like a wood board of some sort in so that you could tilt them all together. But that was kind of never really my intention. I don't mind triptychs that really just go together, but they don't perfectly match, if that makes sense. So to each his own. Hey, Jean Roberts. not to drip on the other canvases. This is looking good so far. I know you guys can't really see this. Okay. Check that out. So I still have some kind of uncovered space up here that I'm gonna figure out how to deal with in just a few minutes. But let's go ahead. Go on to this next one. Now the cool thing about these other two is I can take some of this excess paint and kind of use that. So I'm gonna come around. Grab a little bit of this paint here. I actually think these have plenty of paint on them. Here we go. Scooch this one out of the way. I've been doing so much um like paint mixing and bottle filling and everything with my kits so my table's kind of 
filled with just a lot of paint. bringing it back this way a bit. It's got lots of fun colors at that end. And I'm in no rush on this. I want this to look beautiful, so I'm not trying to tilt super fast or anything. Now, if you are doing a triptych like this and you're, you do want the colors to match up more, once you've started tilting, you can kind of adjust them to each other. These actually look pretty good, <laughs> but if I wanted to, I would just push the paint back a little bit more away from myself. I like how this looks though. I'm just going to go a little more this way. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and go on with this third one. Sorry if I'm missing any important questions. Most importantly, don't drip on the other painting. Okay. Now this one I am going to actually bring back the other direction a bit more. Just so it flows a little better with the other two. And I don't remember if I said, but these are three 10 by 20 panels. Man, seems like we got a few haters tonight. <laughs> There we go. Fantastic. Can you guys imagine how this would look with resin over it? <laughs> I think that would be amazing. All right, there's a corner over here I'm not very happy with. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of this paint that's left over in the cup itself. And I'm going to get that covered with that. Yeah, I love these. This is right up my alley. I love when I get a commission for something that's like, I would do it anyways. <laughs> Perfect. All right, all right. So I've got some edges and stuff around here to hit up. I'm gonna go a little bit more this way, actually. I feel like the first one's always kind of the hardest until you get that direction in there, the flow. But then you can come back to it, you know? There 
there we go. All right, I'm gonna come around, hit up all the edges and signs, and then I will bring you guys in for a close up. And I'm really sorry about those, that glare. And just a word to the wise, don't ever leave canvases sitting in this paint. First of all, then you won't be able to reuse it. Second of all, it, this paint is, is something else. <laughs> it kind of stays sticky. So. That actually looks quite I like this. I like this. <laughs> okay. I, um, so the gold and the black can come out with a bit of a green tint, but I did use that, that aqua green, which is definitely in here. And I like that the red did come out, but just a little bit. So there's kind of just some couple little hints of it. I do feel like I wish this had a bit more white, but that's just my personal preference. I, however, absolutely love these and I think they are perfect. I would totally hang these in my living room. <laughs> so here we go. Let's do a close up. Oh, I still have a corner to get over here. I'll get that later. Camera's going to shake. I am not going to put resin on these pieces. The uh, client did not ask for that. But who knows, actually, if if she doesn't want these, like if for some reason she's not perfectly happy with these, then yeah, I'll go ahead and put resin on them. Sell them in my store. Super beautiful. Here's a little pop of red there, which goes quite well with the gold. <laughs> and I am working on setting up some better lighting, I promise. There we go. Alright guys, I know that was pretty short I think actually I have no idea I have no idea what time it is um does anyone have we can do a little bit of like question and answer 28 minutes okay <laughs> thank you thank you so what I'll do, by the way, for these to dry and also to help me get all the, all the uh, sides and edges is I will go ahead and raise all of these. I use these little, I can never remember what they're called, painter's tripods. Painter's, yeah, painter's tripods, I think. which can be a little difficult with pieces this size. It helps to have someone to help you. Or you just do it really carefully. I'm gonna do two corners at a time here.
<laughs> but that's how I'll have them dry. So I'll do that after the uh, after the video. But yeah, paint pyramids. There you go. <laughs> All right. Good. So any last minute questions before I sign off and go have some dinner? Going once, going twice. There is still, um, there's still room in my class on Facebook next week. There's no paint kits left, but there are more paint kits for the next class after that, if you guys are interested. <laughs> um, Heather, I'm pretty good today, actually. Oh my gosh, you know what? I know it's the end, but do you guys want a sneak peek of my new song? I'm very nervous. Linda, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking. That's a little, next week's a little crazy. Oh, thank you, Brandy. Um, Angie, I buy butane at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. Oh, I'm not going to sing it. That's a little too nerve wracking. Although I might sing along with it because it's so catchy and it's been stuck in my head. <laughs> but here, let me see. I figured out finally, I tried to play it last week. I figured out how to play it finally. So it is, you know, three minutes. If you want to stay and hear it, you can. If you don't, then you don't have to. Um, the torch you can get at Lowe's or you can get them on Amazon for pretty cheap. All right, here we go. Let me, I got paint all over my hands. Try not to get it all over my computer. Come on. Refresh, refresh. There we go. Okay, here it goes. I hope you guys can hear it.
I am so in love with that. It's literally been stuck in my head for like a whole week. Anyways, um, I wrote that and uh, the backing vo vocals are um, Jake, you know, the guy that's on my channel sometimes with me painting. It's his brother, Nick Isham. Of course, their dad is uh, an amazing musician and so they kind of come from that musical artistic background but yeah so that's the first song that's like a demo of it it's not that's not the official recording as soon as it is recording i will probably release that as a single i'm thinking i don't know but i do want to do a full-length album and I don't know about you guys, but last year and this year so far have been pretty rough, no matter how hard I keep trying. And writing that song made me so happy. <laughs> and I'm still so happy. And I wrote that literally last Wednesday. So it's been a whole week and it it's really cheered me up. So I'm going to be getting a keyboard. I'm going to learn how to play it and do a lot more songwriting really excited <laughs> yeah that makes me so 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 happy <laughs> all right guys i don't remember what's for dinner <laughs> but um thank you so much for joining me i'm really glad that you liked it and i will see you all next week we'll probably do i'll probably do an art auction but i'll definitely let you know all right have a fantastic night bye guys